almost that crazy little town because you you almost drive on the roofs of houses. It's not a cemetery. Anyway, just on the other side of it is a trail. See right here. blocking the road. Must be the ice cream man. Well, I got this down. Truck and a trailer is coming through this little road. And then me and another truck. He's a little turkey. I missed a sign to see what this town's called. I wouldn't be able to pronounce it anyway. It's a little mountain town with nothing in it. Besides people. No stores, no gas stations, no nothing. No skinny, skinny road. Art studio. We'll be getting close to the to the trail pretty soon here. If I remember correctly. I've done this like a few times. It's best in the spring because the runoff. There's lots of good water. Beautiful drive. The lake is two miles from here. So I think this is around three miles from the campground. And the crazy thing is this river dumps into the campground. Okay. I think that's my parking area. Kind of overgrown with weeds. Okay, I'm going to get tucked in here. But the trail's right here. You little steppers? Very little. Okay, that's what you get. Okay, here you go. So steps to the trail. That wind's starting to pick up. I was hoping to get out of here or get on here before it got windy, but I'm a little lazy. Well, I woke up about 4.30 thinking about some shit. We can get back to sleep for a while. Okay. Water, wind. The trail kind of hooks like this all the way through. Um, a lot of mica, mica, mica. So very shiny rocks. Okay, I'm on, onward. Oh, the damn wind. I'm gonna try to see if I can show you this. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Very spark sparkly. Who knows how far I can get? Yeah, how, how, how high? How high is the water, Papa? That looks fairly high. Yeah, it's trail is cliff side. Oh, wind, gotta go. Bye. Hey, yeah. Uh, still going. Going slow. That's what I have to look at. And this is what the trail looks like. And so far it's not slick. Um, you know, I'm still trying to get used to this pair of boots. You, know, you, you hike with one pair for so many years and, and you switch brands and they're all different. I don't care what anybody says. The way they grip, how they, how they hurt your feet or not. This pair is really pretty good. Uh, 
with uh, um, 5.11s. They're kind of inexpensive. In, inexpensive. They are not. They don't cost that much. Less than 200 bucks. And for your feet, you need the best. Okay, you just gotta kind of watch it because. Yeah, you could slip. Look at that though. Rock and roll, man. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's all you get. You can see this trail just kind of hooks on the side of this cliff side here. You pretty much have water all the way. One of my favorites. So, like I said, it's a little sketchy in spots. There's a couple spots back there where you know, it's getting kind of washed out. But there's some good strong rocks to stand on. Now this is a little edgy. What a great way to start a day. Huh. Flower. Oh man, I hope my videos aren't going to be sideways. That would suck. So I think I hate about phones. I'm not good about videos. That's how you get. Okay, this is me learning. I'm going to flip my phone right, right up like it's supposed to be. Yeah, I don't know if when you go landscape with it, if it screws up the video. Anyway. We shall see the right way. And I won't know until I put it on Windows. Um, my computer. You know, computers do whatever the hell they want. You know, they have a different floor map. It's floating them. Ooh, two booms. Okay. Okay, that's all you get. Okay, I'm uh, testing my video on which way is the right way to shoot. Oh, that sounds stupid. You would think I would know by now, but I don't use my phone. I use it for maps. I'm not that great at that. For some reason, my GPS drops all the time. But anyway, I'm going up, up and out. So I'm a little over halfway back. I said I'd stop here and show you how beautiful this is and see if it turns sideways. Okay. From here on out, the trail's <coughs> relatively easy. It's a little sketchy in spots, but it's not rocky. There's really no forest. So. Um, here we go. Later. Okay, I'm gonna flip here. I'm. I have two cameras that I use, and then I'm tinkering with my phone. Um, but I forgot the videos can get sideways. If you don't know what you're doing, and I don't know what I'm doing. So this is my bigger camera. My smaller one that I normally use for videos is about shot. Which is nothing unusual. I kill him real quick. Okay, here we go. So here's a spot you gotta watch out for. Just a little 
a little sketchy. But when you're young, when you can bounce and hop and jump and all that fun stuff, um, it's not so bad. But when you're old like me, when you can't take those kind of vibrations after all the breaks I have made in my body, it's a little harder to do. Yeah, I broke my pelvic ring, so no good vibrations there. Okay, rock and roll. It's getting shady. I'm dropping down. So I don't know how far I'll go. Um, we'll see. I think eventually it's going to get really wet. Now, last year, I dropped down from up there. Do something different. It's a little sketchy, but not bad. That's all you get. Now here's a nice spot. Oh, way. Okay, we'll walk to that corner over there. Here, you look that way. I'll look at the ground. Most of the flowers are white and yellow today, so far. That could change the lower I get. Huh? Huh? There you go. How's that? Badass. Yeah, water's flowing good. We'll go over here to the lookout. Fortunately, it's not too windy down here. Very cool. Okay, picture time. Sorry, that's all you get. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Actually, this part isn't bad. Back there was a little close. So, like, we're on the river now. We see my my ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Last year, I had a real ghost. Just didn't want me to show her. I don't know. She must have been afraid of something. Oh well. Dumble and fall. It's like this for a little ways, so I'm gonna let you go. I don't want. I don't want to scratch my arms. Hey, hey. Yeah, when hiking this trail, you can't hear nothing. Nothing but water. Let's go set this little area up. <laughs> Making my ears ring. The canyon up. Now this is what the canyon walls look like. Kind of close in here at this spot. You know, um, at the bottom maybe. 30 foot, something like that. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm still going. I'll let you know where I'm stopping. Duh. Later. Okay, I'm out of the jungle and I'm into a little rock scramble. Um, this ain't bad. Here, hang on there. I keep you on my chest. I just let my camera bounce off my chest. I'm getting kind of funky. You tell not too many people do this. So we'll go down to the next bend or so. Windy. Windy. Okay. 
This will dump right into Abbe, or Abbe Q, um, Santa Cruz Lake. This does dump into it. In case you ever wanted to know. There you go. Looks like I got a fair amount of jungle to go through. Hey, yeah, I'm back. Lots of jungle. Quite a bit of jungle, actually. So now, it looks like this is probably just a fishing area. Um, it goes up. And you really can't tell where it goes from there, but I'm going to guess. Probably goes over that hump and then back down. Man. Yeah, I don't think I'd... Did I do this last year or did I just do it from the other end? I don't remember. I'm going to go up, check it out. Hang on, I'll be back. Hey, yeah. Yeah, I was right. Um, it comes up through here. You can't see it so well down there, but once you get up here, it's quite visual. And you hit the river and go back up. So, I don't know how far I'm going to go. Because I want to go to the lake and uh, hike it. Okay, so there, there's a cattle grate there. Or a cattle fence, whatever. Um, so now I see this to where I was yesterday. There's a canyon that goes back in there. And that will go to the campgrounds. From there you can come down to here. And that's what I did last year. I don't remember if I actually hiked this trail last year. I'm sure I did. I'll have to look. Um, so from here I'm not quite sure. So I'll go to that next little plateau. Okay, here the trail gets a little bit funky. Now pretty much this whole trail is on the edge. Close to the edge, down by the river. Mountains come out of the sky and they stand there. Yeah. So here's the trail. I'm, I'm not going to physically take you down now. Here's my view. So I'm going to go down there. Looks like it hooks around the curb. I'm going to go from there. I said eventually I think it turns into swamp land. Now if I had another vehicle I'd probably go back the other way. But I don't. Okay. Later. Okay. It's going to be kind of loud. Sorry. Here. It looks to me like you got to go up that. And then somehow down the other side. And you walk this edge. Uh, and it keeps going. But. You know. I'm by myself. Oh. Um, I'm going to call it. Not that I haven't been there. The water's a little higher today. Um, so yeah, I got a lot of this to walk through. I got something in my boot too. So yeah, I'm going to call it and then uh, go to the lake. And this was a fun adventure. Someday I'll have to come with somebody. Anybody. Nobody wants to come with Bob. Or Willie. Okay, that's all you get for now. I'm going to start heading back. <laughs> Somehow I missed my trail. So I ended up going, I should have went up this way. So then I went down. So I had to scramble up this. Which is not bad. Um, just don't trust any rocks. They can go at any time. Uh, but, you know, you have to put some faith in them. It's right there. That's all you got. There you go. That was a little slick. Okay, I'll take you to the curve. I did not go in on me. Nah, not really. I think it's time for a drink of water. Okay, here's my view. Seems like I went a long ways, but in reality, not that far. Quite a view. Well, happy trails. I'm gonna take a drink of water and I gotta. I did find a cactus needle right in my pinky. So, yeah, down in there, all that green, that's the jungle. Okay, that's how you get. Okay, let's try this. Let's see how this works. 
if I was running there, eh? Well, you can see the bridges down there. Yeah. Um, listen to the wind blow. Watch the flowers grow. Yeah, I don't have a selfie stick or a microphone. Flip you. Okay, so there's my trail. Not far. Okay, that's enough of me. Now let's just rock and roll this trail. You hear you can you can move fairly fast. There's a spot. No biggie. Somewhere worse than that. Rock. Okay, here's a sketchy spot. Kinda. Get your food in. No big deal. Ah, water! I'm hungry, but I can bring that one with me. It's a long ways either way. Three miles back to my camper. Or. 10 miles to a town. Okay. So you get. Hey, <clears throat> hey, yeah. Uh, well, if you ever want to keep a 70 year old body in shape, this is what you do challenge it, work it, push it. Because this helps you do squatting. Lifting your legs, um, just endurance, <laughs> tree limb in the ear. <laughs> this is nothing here, but it's a little tight. Fortunately, most of the bushes are on the soft side. But yeah, get out there, get off your butt and move it. And you can see stuff like this. Okay, that's all you get. Hey you go. Well, there you go. Trails in. Beautiful. Look at the landscape. Oh, look at the look at the van. Well, that's mine. It's all ready to rock and roll. <coughs> it's set up for camping too. In case I don't want to take my camper. So I got a bed. No fridge. Um, but I got a bed and a propane stove solar boat it's a rubber raft I'm not going to tell you any more than that never mind it's ready to go later <laughs>